Okay, look, this video specifically is for people who still want to be stacked. Okay, thick AF, a thick legend, okay? Yeah, in my white tee. Yeah, call up white please for the hype, please. You don't white you before you white me. My boxes are checks, not my Nikes. Yeah, that's got no white tee. Got them bamboozled like a spike me. You need more than Google just to find me. Call up and get a high fee. Incredible, <laughs> general. I just dropped the label just to sign me. Me and Chase connected like the Siamese. We've been on a run for like a crime spree. Talk to me nicely. I see his face. Yeah, on his white teeth. Yeah, yeah. Call the strike people. Come on, private flight franchise. On private flight, part of me his hands was tight. Have you ever been punched in your motherfucking face? What you say? Oh, you have it? All right, wait. Bitch, two for Betty King, fucking me. I am here. Oh, ice cream, booger, color, shit. Stop, tear, rock, down, all fuckers in my clip. We don't fear. Oh, lick, 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 lick. Welcome back to the channel. So by today's title, you guys know this is a fit vlog. I think it's a good time to go ahead and like start a body recomposition type series because apparently that's what y'all interested in. Those videos have been doing really well, like when I featured them in fit vlogs. And um, some of you might know, some of you don't, but I done transitioned from body recomposition specifically to like uh, doing a cut. And you might be like, okay, well, what's the difference? So with body recomp, which I have said before, y'all, I got so many videos with me talking about it. Like I did it on accident and the difference really between like body recomping and cutting is just going to really be calories. Um, so with body recomp, you're going to be eating at maintenance or just a slight uh, deficit, like really slight. So like a moderate deficit for cutting would be about 500 calories from your maintenance if you don't know how to calculate your calories i will have below the calorie calculator that i use but i'm not a dietitian so baby i can't you just gotta do what you can with that information i'm not gonna be telling y'all how many calories to eat and i will tell y'all one thing if anybody tell y'all eat 1200 calories no okay no and for most of us if you watching me i'm gonna assume that you around my size or bigger baby you need to probably be eating at least 2,000 calories and that's probably a deficit for you so since we're talking about it a deficit for me like for me to maintain if i just wanted to maintain my weight i could eat about 2700 calories and before you think that's a lot girl i'm 230 pounds give or take on a good day okay because sometimes i could drop down about 228 recently but still that's two pound different i can eat a lot i'm very heavy very heavy so like i use a lot of calories just to maintain so me at a deficit could slick be around 2100 i try to stay around 2000 but i give myself yeah a little leeway because sometimes you know i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do but anyway i kind of got off topic there when you are uh, doing body recomp, you are trying to basically build muscle and you do want to shed fat. But since you're 
but since you're not gonna really be in a deficit or if you are it's very slight you're most concerned about building that muscle which is gonna change the shape of your body so I did that like I said not knowingly kind of just happened and that was because I mentioned before I decided I was not gonna count calories I was against count calories and I pretty much still ate what I wanted to but I went ham like in the gym like five six days a week and so that's how I basically body recomped um now that I am counting calories and I'm finally being consistent with it with, like the first time in my life ever and it took over a year for me to do that so it wasn't just something I just did overnight like oh I'm gonna do it some people can but I wasn't that motivated because I was already looking like girl what's up and I like to eat uh so I'm actually cutting now and so my calories are at a moderate deficit uh sometimes they're a little bit um under 2000 uh if i'm not hungry i won't force myself to eat but the main thing oh with both i didn't mention is protein so with body recomp you still want to make sure you're eating adequate enough protein and what cutting you do too and with cutting the reason you want to make sure you're eating adequate enough protein is because if your calories are going to be in a moderate deficit and you're going to be shedding weight right you want to make sure that you're not losing muscle but it's fat that you're losing so that brings me to a next point which i mentioned is honestly y'all like everybody is different but honestly i'm gonna tell y'all what i've gotten like information from the pros for real you don't want to be losing more than 0.5 to one pound a week i will give you at the most two pounds a week but that's a lot that's a shit ton i know y'all like no it's not i dropped five pounds in a week okay look this video specifically is for people who still want to be stacked okay thick af a thick legend okay you're losing muscle if you drop it hella weight hella quick all right the reason why you want to be dropping about 0.5 to one pound really a week is to make sure that this is pure fat okay and not know that good that good quality muscle that we done spent time trying to build if you like me so y'all i showed y'all my um cut from March 1st to April 1st, which was a four week cut. That was only two pounds, so it was 0.5 pounds per week. But y'all seen, y'all seen what it was, okay? And I'm good, I I'm loving it. I'm loving seeing like muscle definition in my leg for real. Cause y'all, I didn't even know like, okay, don't let me, I'm getting all off, but y'all know I'll be going on spills if you, you subscribed. Oh, youtube was pissed and hating and deleted my body recon video but i'm still gonna post the pictures here show y'all like the muscle definition in the leg okay so that's also why earlier when i was showing y'all like trying to get a little physique check in i gotta be real careful with that because youtube is not lit okay it's not happy with me but anyway i'm really liking to see muscle definition more and i know that's because like i'm cutting so i'm getting rid of some fat that was covering whatever i did have also like i said my diet has changed drastically for the most part because i'm worried about calories so i'm real specific about uh what i can eat because you can eat anything you want but i'll give you guys a perfect example about a week or so ago i had taco bell and i counted it y'all i had a cheesy d to a cheesy d <laughs> A cheesy gordita crunch and a little um, nacho fries, which is literally like a small fry. It's like this container, like is about this big. And y'all, honestly, at most, and this is probably being very generous, it had 15 fries in there. So I tracked that shit, and it was 800 calories. Y'all seen the breakfast I just had? That was under 500 calories. I eat that quite often or something similar like oatmeal with some egg whites, whatever, right? My breakfast is around 500 or less calories every morning and about 30 grams plus protein. This morning it was like 43 grams of protein. Y'all, I be so full. Like, not full like, oh my God, I'm stuffed, but like I'm satiated all throughout the day. I ate that freaking Taco Bell, which was 800 plus calories, baby was hungry 30 minutes later so that is why people be telling you like eat clean or whatever it's not that you can't eat fast food and stuff because you can but you're not going to be satiated like you're not going to be full so you're going to want to eat again even though you just had a shit ton of calories because you don't feel the fullness of it or the satiating effects so that's why again high protein is going to make sure that you're full and eating whole cleaner foods are going to be i hate to use the word clean because no food is dirty but anyway eating more whole nutritious foods is going to keep you full or longer for less calories so that's really what it is but i really wanted that taco bell i'm not gonna lie to you so i had it and then i suffered because i was starving and i was like but we're not gonna overeat because you want that high calorie food now you're gonna sit here and suffer so yeah diet has changed um i eat a lot of like high protein like 
full fulfilling foods um and that's what keeps me in a deficit without feeling like i'm freaking starving but y'all it's it's hard it sucks the reason why it's hard and it sucks is because like i like food i like fun foods like i like chips and i like burgers and fries and y'all know y'all know and again it's not that you can't have it and you can make it a healthier way yeah we all know that but let's be real don't nothing hit like that greasy cheese burger with bacon on it from the little rib shack down the street okay y'all know what i'm talking about like it just nothing's gonna hit you can make your burger at home all you want it's it's straight it's gonna it's gonna do what it need to do but it ain't that so i try to stick to one day out of the weekend and eat whatever not the whole day a meal my bad so like let's say saturday dinner or i had brunch on sunday but not the whole weekend and not the whole day so before i would literally do really good monday through friday and then the whole weekend sometimes friday through sunday or saturday through sunday it was just boss of the wilds whatever you want and that really just kept me maintaining which is how i bought it recomp so like i was maintenance because girl i was eating whatever donuts and whoo just all the good stuff but anyway felt like now was a good time to go ahead and start like a body recomp series um and just show you guys like how it really changed my life and i also just made an ebook if you guys are interested in getting in the gym because people have asked me like how do you find the motivation or like i don't know what to do when i get to the gym and like how do you create a workout split and all of that i have an ebook telling you how to do that like how you gonna have to choose uh motive so, so, uh, how you gonna have to choose self-discipline over motivation all the time how you do that is going to give you more confidence to move around in the gym because it's just going to discuss about free weights and machines and how to build a split and all these different exercises now i will say the exercises that i mentioned like i give you like a list of exercises for every body part there's no videos or anything you're gonna have to do some of the homework okay you're gonna have to google on your phone you're gonna have to go to youtube and look up these exercises if you don't know what they are but i mean y'all you gotta do some of the work i literally to this day am in the gym and if i'm doing an exercise and maybe it was new for me or i don't feel like i'm you know on point with form i will look up a video in between my set like to see am i doing this right you just gotta do the work but i do have that ebook uh available now i have a link in the description box if you guys need that i really want everybody to like be excited about working on themselves i'm so happy right now because i feel like I am becoming my favorite DIY project like I am doing it and I am seeing results before I was just like I like working out I'm working out but then I got to a point where like now I want everybody to know I'm working out I'm really trying to become a thick legend out here okay so uh yeah with that being said I was like let me go ahead and start this body recon basically like series this is a fit vlog so i'm going to show you guys some workouts today i'm actually going to work out in my home gym for the first time um i had that little monkey feet thing i don't know if you guys remember but the monkey feet i wanted to use it because i haven't used it since i got it and we'll talk about it later since i'm going to be showing it to y'all and then i'm actually going to do a workout in the home gym because i did chest today but i think my last fit vlog i filmed chest and i ain't want to bore y'all with the back to back we not doing that so i have i wrote on my whiteboard we're doing dumbbell legs today we got rdl which is a romanian deadlift basically i'm going to show y'all all the lifts or like the workouts the exercises that i use that are like my holy freaking grail to get you that mass on them thick thighs and legs so romian romanian deadlift or rdl a sumo um a goblet squat i wrote sumo up there but mm, goblet squat step ups whoo chef's kiss dumbbell swings or kettlebell swings but i don't have no kettlebell and a hip thrust uh i do have a barbell so i can show y'all but yeah i don't know i might do the dumbbell or show y'all a variation of both okay so this is the whiteboard with the workout on it i didn't write like sets or anything because te technically i got my workout in today but i just wanted to show you guys like some good leg movements that you can do in the gym and since i'm going to be using my dumbbells it can be like a shy girl workout for anybody that may be having like trouble getting in the gym because of like where their confidence lies girl pick a corner any corner or like the little room that's like a dance room get a dumbbell and you can get you can get this in i'm about to i want to use my barbell for hip thrust even though like it's it's not even like girl but y'all know i like to look at this pussy girl shape like the letter p a okay but no 
So I was gonna use this barbell for like a hip thrust and I probably still will just to show y'all cause I'm a hip thrust junkie. But definitely gonna be utilizing these uh, 55 pound dumbbells to get these workouts in. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I have my dumbbells set to 20 pounds. These are 20 pounds each, so 40 pounds. And I'm going to do a RDL. This is in real time, it's not like my other <laughs> fit vlogs. So an RDL or Romanian deadlift, any deadlift is a hinge movement. So you're gonna keep, it's not a traditional deadlift where you're gonna, okay, I might need to specify. So a traditional deadlift start from the bottom. So you have your, your dumbbells on the floor, you bend down like this, you lift up, you bend down again, you put them down. That's a, that's a traditional deadlift. Uh, with traditional deadlifts, I prefer to use the barbell. But with a Romanian deadlift, it doesn't start from the bottom. The movement starts from here, from the top, I'm sorry, not from the bottom, from the top. So this is the top of the dumbbell, your beginning. You wanna keep them as close to the shins as possible. And when you go down, you're gonna feel a stretch in your hamstring and you're gonna come back up. So I'm gonna show you like kinda of like from this way. If y'all don't know what the hamstrings is, it's this part, okay? Hamstrings, quad. Quad, quad is the front of the leg, hamstrings is the back of the leg. So, we got an RDL. You feel that back of that leg stretch close to the shins, up. Okay, so for a goblet squat, I only need one. I like to hold it like this. You're gonna spread your legs. I actually don't have a lot of range of motion because the way this dumbbell is created, so I'm gonna hold it in the middle. I don't like this, like the way it is. I, I like how I hold it, was holding it, but it's so long, cause it's adjustable, that I didn't have a good range of motion, meaning I wasn't able to fish, fit, uh, finish the squat. So the bar, there are, I'm all over the place, y'all. I don't usually talk during the exercise. So the dumbbell, as y'all see, is on the floor, but I'm not fully squatted, okay? Sorry. So that's what that means. So I'm just going to, you can do, you can pick up both of them and hold them in the middle of your legs and squat like this. This is more like a sumo and come up, but again, these dumbbells are kind of wide. It was in the way. So that's not working out for me. So I'm just going to hold one with both hands. Full squat. Exercise. <laughs> 
are kettle swings. They are another hip hinge movement. And you literally just swing the, oh, it's not a kettle, sorry, kettlebell. It is a dumbbell swing instead of a kettlebell. But it's a hip hinge movement because your hip, this is a hinge, right? So you just swing the weight in between your legs. You're gonna keep it straight. Cause some people do like a squat, which is fine, but that's a different movement. It's not wrong, it's just a different variation than this one. workout was not playing with me so this is a hip thrust with a dumbbell for the purpose of if you need to do a shy girl workout because I'm not a fan of hip um, dumbbell hip thrust even though I will say that I did some on Monday y'all with much heavier weight though I think I did like an 85 pound dumbbell y'all booty burning it's still a little sore so so, I mean, it do what it needs to do, but I do prefer the barbell because, again, so the, the, dumbbell, that I, the dumbbell that I used Monday was 85 pounds, but I hip thrust damn near 300 pounds. So, you know, but it's just more targeted. So maybe that's why I gave me a good burn. And I did a lot of reps because it was so light. That's one to make sure that I did fatigue my muscle. So all you're gonna do is shoulder blades. Y'all want the shoulder blades to be on whatever you're using to uh, like hoist yourself up with. Want to keep your tan tucked? Don't be like, oh, this is your fucking spine, so stop playing. <laughs> keep it tucked. I hope I ain't flashing y'all no boo. This ain't the bra for this. And just this bench also. Oh, oh, sorry. The most important part is you want to have your uh, legs at a 90 degree angle. This bench is not as high as I would like. So it's kind of more like a bridge, but it's not because a thrust is a full range of motion. Whereas if you was doing like a glute bridge, you could just don't go all the way down. And that's gonna work your butt more than if you was doing a full range of motion like this. You just gotta increase the intensity of your workout when you're using lighter weights. So, I still got a little workout here. I slid did. I did, I did, I did. So let me know if y'all like workouts like this when I'm at home so I can actually explain to you the workout like while I'm doing it. Or if y'all like to see me doing my workouts at the gym where I have access to more stuff, more weights, more machines. But then I have to do like a voiceover because I don't wanna look crazy. <laughs> While I'm at the gym, it's already bad enough that I've been talking to a camera all day anyway. Like, it looks crazy. It looks ridiculous. Okay, y'all. So, I have the monkey feet. <laughs> the monkey foot on my leg. It's the contraption I was telling y'all about. So, you strap it to your foot. Like, so. And I need a pedicure real bad, y'all. So, don't be looking. <laughs> but then, you attach a weight right here. And you can do, like, different exercises. So, I'm going to show you guys a hamstring curl. A donkey kick and a uh, leg extension with this. So this is something to, that's cool to have in your home gym because you know you don't have access to like all the different machines and stuff. So I'm gonna do a, a hamstring curl which is again gonna be targeting this muscle right here. And you're just gonna lift your foot up. Is this on good enough? I probably should have shoes on y'all. So that too, but yeah. And just like that, you should feel, and I do feel it in my hamstring, but I should have shoes on y'all. Cause this ain't like, it's not on, I feel like my foot is not straight. Let me not be trying to, let me actually try to adjust it. You should have shoes on, okay? Yes, you should. I'm sure it will go a lot better with a shoe, but anyway. You just bending your leg up 
and I do feel it, y'all. It's actually really good. Whew, okay, let me try a donkey kick. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't, I usually use the machine to do donkey kicks. So I'm like, hold on. How's the light, like, range of motion for this? So I'm going to lean on this squat rack, try to get some range of motion here and just, and this is heavy. So my range, my uh, form is probably sucky because this weight is slick heavy. Girl. <laughs> This way, let me try it on the floor. Y'all, I'm literally trying to walk around with this thing on my foot. And if I fall, y'all will know what happened. <laughs> if I break my ankle, if I get on social media like, oh, I broke my ankle, y'all will know what happened. Because I had no business trying to hobble over here with this. <sighs> and it is freaking heavy. No, this not going to work. I probably need a shoe on. Like, it's hurting my foot. But this do feel better. So you're just going to. Ooh. Y'all, I have my butt. Let me turn. But you can get mad. She trying to show her butt. Okay. This thing is hurting my foot. I need a shoe on. Y'all, I feel like my range of motion sucks. But this thing is really heavy. And it's cutting in my foot. And I just wanted to show y'all. So let me show y'all the last thing. So I'll go ahead and get this off, baby. Because I'm not even <laughs> having fun no more. Okay. And I am fatigued like hell. It's time to eat. It's 5 o'clock. I already worked out today. It's a lot. Alright. So for this, I'm going to bend my yoga mat under my leg. Because it needs to sit up higher so that can, my leg can like sit out straight. Alright. So y'all see the leg. For a leg extension, you just gonna, and this is mostly what I would use it for, this in the hamstring curl. And with this, I'm really, really strong in my leg extensions, so I could up the weight, but I just wanted to show y'all. And then, that's it. And then it's easy to take off, you just kinda like flip it, and then it releases your foot, like so. Let me show y'all this up close. I'll just... My bad. <laughs> okay, so it, it, I'm sorry, y'all. When you take it off, it releases like this little claw thing. So that's what the dumbbell was. So look, it's like a claw and you'll pick it up. But the moment you take it off, it like has that release. So I will link this in the description box. I did before when I did like my home gym tour, I think. I know I linked it, no. I linked it when I did like an unboxing, but I will definitely link it in the description bar now that I showed y'all like the little tutorial on it. So y'all can check it out if y'all want to. I got new bash fit samples. I know y'all probably like, girl, we are so freaking tired of you and your samples where when you drop in. But I told y'all I was in the process of rebranding, so I had to get like a new logo and then I had to come up with all these new designs. And so I had to get samples of them first. So I found a whole new manufacturer to get this because if you got a version of this set last year, I was not in love with it. I wanted like the Nike Pro type of look. So I, I did that, I got that done. Now y'all, this is going to be called um like i think the signature signature leggings signature bra i think i'm also not going to do all those pads removing oh wow that's the tag y'all <laughs> i hate freaking removable pads but i know some people have bigger breasts than me so they need them so i leave them and you can just like take them out like they're i.e removable but anyway um these fit just like nike pro so they're not like <gasps> sculpting like other stuff that i made and but i'm going to like remove myself from doing sets i think so y'all know how like, we have the top and the bottoms that come together that's because a lot of people aren't the same size on the top and the bottom and i don't want to force some of y'all just interested in the leggings i didn't want to force tops on y'all whatever so i asked a poll on instagram y'all let me know what y'all y'all opinion in the comment box because i know all y'all don't follow me on instagram but shame on you i asked the poll on instagram if y'all like sets which you know like so if you buy this as a set the bottom is a large and the top is a large or do y'all like to buy the leggings and the top separate and y'all was like separates so i think these are going to be separates and it is going to be a thing um they're just like nike pro leggings though as far as how they fit i think i already said that but they're not the same material so that dry fit no not necessarily these are like kind of like a buttery soft fit 
Now I haven't worked out in them, but I also, y'all see they kind of roll a little bit. So if I'm being honest, I would wear a waist trainer with this. I might, if y'all not in a rush, and maybe I should not be showing y'all stuff too early. Like I showed y'all that jumpsuit and then I had to go and get like, um, get it fixed. But I like to hear feedback. So y'all didn't want so much of the back out. So I went and got um, some fabric added to the top of it. But I might ask her to uh, make these a little higher. Cause I'm good, but I know everybody don't, this is a lot of midriff. I feel like, so y'all seen the leggings I had on earlier. Those were my bash fit high waisted leggings. They come up to like right here and they do not move around. Um, again, these are, they fit just like Nike Pros. So when I say that, oh, also y'all see the back, the bra has a little uh, eyelet. The Nike Pros fit just like this. And they kind of shift on you a little bit. It might be because of this Jacquard, I think it's called, band. But I always wear a waist trainer with it just so I don't have to be worried about it. So I don't know. And I don't have a lot, you know, as long as, as long as I don't have my little bottle bottom pouch fall out and it's not, so if you see, as y'all see, I'm jumping. It's gonna move down, but it's not gonna move down like that. So it'll just, this will be like it resting, which I still feel like is a lot of skin, personally. I will wear a waist trainer with it. Um, I may see if she can ask if she can go up and make it a bit higher, but are we in a rush for this? Are we in a rush? I have another set I'm gonna show you guys because I redid the scrunch legging and like a long line type of bra with that. Nothing much to see here. It's just like a black long line tank. Um, like I said, it's just the tank. And then I did redo the scrunch butt leggings. So, let's, let me turn around so y'all can see. It's hard to see because they're black. Can y'all see the, I guess y'all can see the scrunchy in it. But they're just scrunch butt leggings. I like them, but I'm gonna have to wear them and see. Cause the last time one of the vendors did some, or the manufacturer, excuse me, I do not have vendors. I create all this stuff is why I take so long. Um, that thing ripped on me and it just like stretched out and it was not cool. So I have to give these like a go and see how they do before like I said they're good. But this is just basic. It's just a different type of legging. The, the light hitting different now. So let me see if y'all can see the scrunch. Can y'all see the scrunch? I don't know. I have to see when I'm editing because I can't even see. Yeah, it's just a different like legging. I want to offer options. So now we have the signature legging, the classic legging, and then this one will be the scrunch. But I, if it makes it through like the um, the trial, I'm not gonna call it scrunch, but but I don't have a name for it. Um, it's not as compressive as the classic legging, but as y'all can see, it has way more hold than the signature legging and that's what we like we do not like leggings to roll down and stuff so it gets a uh, thumbs up for that <laughs> y'all tried to say yay outside today he was not having it he is afraid of outside he won't do nothing he won't go nowhere he just sit there and shake he won't use the bathroom outside so potty pad it is i'm gonna get i think um like a fresh patch for him and put it on the balcony because he won't like i put him he just won't do nothing outside like he is terrified of the outdoors that's what you get you lost your toy get it out <sighs> but yeah Oh, I also went downstairs to the gym in the apartment and did like 10 minutes on the Stairmaster and 10 minutes um, walking on the treadmill. Cause I feel like today was a good day for a two day, y'all. I am trying to get myself together in two weeks for day time. <laughs> I'm not that girl. Like I gotta drop 10 pounds in two weeks, but I do wanna like, you know, be like, okay, my cut was worth it. Um, I think I'm going to cut, I am going to cut um, in May too and then take a break in June, mostly because it's my birthday and I already know. Um, but I know when I go to Daytona, I'm not gonna be tracking, but I'm only gonna be gone from Thursday to Sunday. And like last year, all I ate was freaking oysters. <laughs> so if you know, you know, if, if you don't get chocolate oysters with all like the butter and stuff, then oysters are like basically zero calories. I know it's not, but it's very low calories. I ate a lot of seafood that wasn't fried. I made sure not to eat fried seafood last year. And I'm probably gonna be doing the same thing this year. Um, and I haven't been drinking any liquor but I probably will have a little bit of liquor. But basically, um, I'm going to finish cutting this month and cut for May and see, he is acting wild. 
see what we looking like for that B-Day, June 2nd, Gemini's whistle. Yeah. <laughs>